I remember my first day arriving at Johns Hopkins, sort of like the deer in headlights. Meeting a thousand people at once. It was a little scary at first. There were freshmen with full beards and I barely shaved. It was a pretty mixed group from all over. Just smart, funny people. But it's surprising how many of those first acquaintances became my very best friends. I remember immediately feeling warmth and immediately feeling welcome, like this was really my home. But it's a huge adjustment going to college. It's a completely new lifestyle. You're living on your own, first off. So there's that whole sense of being independent. Where do you live? I live in Woolman. Uh, well, the Amars were so much better. There were a lot of crazy things that happened in dorm life. Just like pulling an all-nighter to work on a paper or just sit up and talk about guys. Our class was the last all-male class. That made it a little bit uh, more challenging than it may be now in terms of meeting people, meeting women. I know the classes were pretty hard, but the students choose Hopkins for that type of rigor. Just be open to whatever Hopkins has to give you. Because people are really, they're so supportive of you and of your efforts. Cover grades, big, big plus. Yeah. Morning classes and I didn't work well together. People usually showed up with their pajamas, flip-flops, clearly not showered. It does help to go to class. Um, I learned that the hard way. Of course, it's a challenging place and you need to, to blow off steam. And there is balance. People will study really hard, but then they'll also relax and kick back. Working hard and playing hard. Exploring Baltimore. Just having fun. We, we bug in. Uh huh. But what I recall most were those moments of just bizarre, hilarious, and strange sorts of occurrences that, that can't, you can't make them up, you can't recreate them. They just sort of happened. We all decided to hand in an assignment about Twinkies. Yeah, I did have pizza delivered to me in class. We were walking down University Parkway, the two of us with the red front door. So we didn't really know how to handle it. It was a wacky Tuesday, but it was no alcohol at the party and everybody had to take the shoes. The sirens are going on. But luckily we managed to emerge without anything permanent on our records. But anyway. Those four years were transformative for me and for all of us. You're part of a community. Constantly striving for excellence. I learned. I volunteered. Uh, I grew up. I really became the person who I truly am today. And I've made a lot of friends that I know I'm going to keep for the rest of my life. We'll be friends forever. Forever. Yeah. I'm definitely not going to forget their names. Like, <laughs> Hopkins is. My college years were some of the best. The best Time four of years of your life. Were some of the best years. They would have to have been the best years of my life. I wouldn't trade my four years at Hopkins for anything. So enjoy every minute. Take advantage of the opportunities. And welcome to the family. Are we sure rolling? <laughs>